Oh, well, Dr. Triple 07, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys my top 20 Windows shortcuts of 2014. So most of these shortcuts are pretty much unknown unless you go looking for shortcuts and you're a shortcuts, you know, master. So if you watch this video, I guarantee you will at least learn a couple new shortcuts that you can use in your daily life to make your daily life on the computer a little more entertaining and easier. So I'm going to get started right away. The first one I want to show you guys is controls. And the first one, control one I want to show you guys is control A. Control A will simply select everything that's whatever you have selected. So for example, I'm on my desktop. If I press control A, it will highlight all of my icons. A cool thing to do to a friend is hit control A on his, on his desktop and press enter, enter. And every single program on his desktop will open at the same time. And odds are it will make him frustrated. If I go ahead and open up Notepad, now I'll just type some words here. Now I press Control A, it will select all the words and allow me to delete, do whatever I want. So this is going to lead on to my first um, or my second shortcut, which is Control C. Control C simply allows me to copy. So by having all of them selected, I press Control C, and I can go ahead and go below it. And use my next shortcut, which is Control V, to paste. Control X allows you to cut. For those of you who do not know, what cut is cut simply allows you to Control X it, and Control X will get rid of everything. But cutting is different from deleting because cut will delete it, but then put it on your clipboard so you can later go ahead and paste it again. And then, of course, probably the second most popular shortcut in the world. Um, control Z to undo. Now we start with the shortcuts that aren't so popular. So the first one is Control F. Control F is one of my favorite ones for sure. Um, it's useful in many different programs and it's pretty, pretty much the universal um, control shortcut for finding something. So if you press Control F on your keyboard, it will bring up the Find menu where you can simply type in a letter or whatever you want to do and you will find that letter or word or whatever it may be. If you press in on Chrome, it will do the same thing as well. Well, I would pull this menu and then you can search for a word. So for example, wallpaper. Now, if you do it on the desktop, it allows you to basically a universal search of your computer. So simply have the desktop selected and then press control F and then the search menu will pop up, allowing you to search for anything in the world. The next one is basically for um, browser use only, but this one allows you to directly access the URL bar. So for example, let's say you're just browsing your website or wherever you want to browse on the internet. If you press Control L, it will immediately select your URL and allow you to change it. So you can see here, I'm just scrolling. If I press Control L, my URL immediately gets highlighted and I can go ahead and change it. Leading on to the next one, Control Shift L allows you to select certain words. So for example, you can see my arrow key here is just sitting there. If I go Control Shift and then an arrow, that allows me to select a certain word. So if I press the back arrow, selects.com. If I press it again, YouTube, press it again, there you dot. If I go the opposite direction, it minimizes it. So this is a sweet way when you're typing a long document, if you mess up a whole word, instead of actually going pressing the backspace 100 times, you can then just use this shortcut and select the word and, and delete it much quicker. So for example, so I have a word here, I'm just gonna type a little bit. If I type in if I type Control Shift L, I can select a certain word, delete that word, and delete much faster. The next shortcut is for renaming files. So for example, I have this uh, folder here. If I select this document file and press F2 on keyboard, it'll immediately give me the option to rename it. So normally to rename a file, you'd have to right click it and click rename. But now you can just click a file, press F2 and rename the file. 
the next shortcut will allow you to delete a file without it actually going to the recycle bin. So normally when you delete a file, your recycle bin will show that little like trash in there. You have to go in there and actually delete the file from there. Now if you press the shift key, have a file selected and press the shift key, then press delete, you'll notice that it will say, are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? If you click yes, that file is gone permanently and you can see my trash can is still empty. So it is not in there, it is permanently gone, skipping the trash can step. Now it's on to the two alt shortcuts that I have. So the first one being alt tab. Alt tab allows you to quickly switch between windows. So for example, multitasking, you can press it. And if you leave it on for something, it will give you a little preview of it. So you pre by pressing tab, it will scroll through them. The next one is alt F4. Alt F4 works as a dual purpose. The first one being close the window that you currently have open. The second one being if you're on the desktop with the desktop selected, it gives you the option to shut down. So I'll show you this one right here. So for example, I have this uh, YouTube um, folder open here. If I press Alt F4 on the keyboard, it immediately closes. No questions asked, just closes. Now, if you're on the desktop with the desktop selected, and you press Alt F4, this menu pops up right here and gives you the option to shut down the computer, sign out, switch users, that kind of generic stuff. The cool thing with this is though, um, if you're on Windows 8, and you hate Windows like, like I do, and you have a hard time shutting down, it just takes forever. You can press Alt F4, press Enter, and there you go, the computer is shutting down quickly. The next one is the Win section with the Windows key, which is the biggest section. And that is the first one being probably the most known Windows one is the Win E. Win E will open up your File Explorer and immediately get you going. The next one is for people who use multiple monitors or a projector at school or for whatever reason it may be. If you press the Windows key in the P, it will bring up the projector settings, allowing you to change and swap between PC only, duplicate, extend, and second screen only. So there are scenarios every, one, every once in a while where you have multiple programs open and you just want to minimize everything. Well, in Windows 7, you have the show desktop option in the right bottom right hand corner while well, Windows 8 that is gone so to kind of heal the pain what you can do is press the Windows key and the D immediately everything is minimized no questions asked the next one is a pretty cool one and it's actually pretty rare most people don't know this one um, using the Windows key and then pressing a number uh, above your keyboard below the F1 F2 area there uh, will actually open a program pinned to your taskbar, um, open minimize it, all from the same button. So for example, you can see on my taskbar here, I have this first program, and that is numbered 1. File Explorer here is number 2, this is number 3, number 4, number 5. If I press the Windows key in 1, Chrome will open up and minimize and do whatever I tell it to do by pressing the button. I press Windows key in 2, File Explorer opens up. Press it again, it minimizes. So you guys can kind of see the point here. Basically, imagine numbers there, and that basically is assigned to your keyboard. If you press the Windows key in that number, that program will open up or minimize. Next one is one of my favorites, and I think this is one that everyone should know, um, especially in Windows 7 Windows 8, where now you have the option to multitask a bit better by taking a window and pulling it to the side and using that arrow snap feature. Well, for people who have dual screen monitors, if you try and snap it to the left hand side, well, it kind of runs off the screen. And you probably would say, well, why don't you just use the other screen? Sometimes I like to have a full program open on one screen and then half and half on another. So the problem is, if I try and snap to the left hand side here, it wants to go to my other screen. So cool shortcut to snap everything quickly is the windows key with the arrows on your keyboard so if you press the windows and up it will go full screen down we'll do that down again we'll minimize now if you press windows in the right arrow key it'll pin it to the right hand side left we'll put it in the middle again and left again we'll pin it to the other side 
Now, if you add shift to the mix, so basically pressing the shift window symbol, then an arrow left and right, it will kind of transport it between monitors. So if I press the left one, it'll fly on my left hand monitor, press the right one, right hand monitor, you kind of get the point. So I'm going to end off the video with two last shortcuts. The first one being the win and the L key, which will lock the computer. And then, of course, the most popular shortcut known to mankind, control alt delete Now, before I go, I'd like to do a quick shout out to Linus Tech Tips. He basically does everything computer under the sun, um, everything from hardware testing to cool software stuff and unboxings, etc. Now, right now, he's doing a giveaway of a $3,000 gaming computer. Um, this one right here, actually. It has a Core i5, a 780, and a 500GB SSD. He's also giving me a GTX Titan and a Sony VAIO 13 inch laptop. So if you're interested in winning any of these things, check on his channel on how to enter in the draw. Every, the items ship around the world and they're shipping next month. Credit goes to Mofo Jenkins for mentioning this video to me. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well and definitely check out this draw right here and win yourself maybe a cool laptop. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. This is Dr. 007, and I'm signing off.